So you've prioritised approval and rollout and distribution over the scientific sort of peer review side of things. The results from phase three trials are from a sample consisting of tens of thousands of people. But the more important data is mass use in the real world. We now have real world data in Chile where tens of millions of people have been inoculated. There, you see protection against ICU is at 89% and over 80% against hospitalization. Isn't this more convincing data? So we encourage our partners and government in countries where our vaccines are being used to release such data as soon as possible. The results from the real world and the data we have from clinical trials will allow the world to judge our vaccine comprehensively. You talked about Chile, where uh, initial real-world data has shown that uh, coronavac does bring down incidents of severe disease and death. Um, but cases are rising in Chile again, and that's raising questions about Sinovac's ability to uh, quell the outbreak there. What's your response to that? Sinovac was distributed from older groups to younger ones in Chile. But we only provided Chile with less than 15 million doses of the vaccine. Each person gets two shots. That means only 7 million people have been vaccinated. In other words, the vaccination rate of Chile, with a population of 19 million, is only 36%. Meanwhile, with such a low rate, the people who are most active are under 60 years old meaning the vaccination rate of this group is far from enough. In this case, it's normal that the virus cases will rise when activities are back. Where are you looking to bolster supply and are you looking to export corona back to any new countries? Are there any new deals that you've made? The biggest challenge we have so far is how to meet the demand. We've provided about 50 million doses of vaccines to Brazil and Indonesia and about 20 million doses to Turkey, which accounts to 20% of their population. But that is not enough, as the virus is still spreading. We need to expand our supply, which is a really big challenge. And we don't only provide to the countries we partner with, but other countries including Chile and the Dominican Republic, as well as those in Africa and Asia. But it's still not enough. We are now licensing those countries for manufacturing. We have licensed the vaccine to five countries, Turkey, Indonesia, Brazil, Malaysia and Egypt, to produce vaccines in their countries. What's the latest findings uh, or intelligence that you have on how Coronavac works against the various variants, particularly uh, the quite insidious one from South Africa and this newly emergent uh, variant in India? If we use those mutated viruses to produce new vaccines, the time span could be shortened tremendously, which means we could enable mass production with new variants in two months. Once we discovered variants and used them to make inactivated vaccines, we can provide these shots to countries where those variants are circulating widely. The bigger challenge now is to communicate with those countries about the monitoring and the research results and to have the government's approval for the new vaccine produced based on the variants. So far, we haven't got approval yet and we are still working on it.